Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Valentine's Day look, a get ready with me, using two of my favorite Natasha Denona palettes. I have the Retro palette and the I Need a Nude. I did use my I Need a Nude palette the other day for my daughter's birthday and it was so beautiful. I decided I want to combine these. This entire month I'm going to be doing Valentine's looks all throughout February and I am so excited because it's one of my favorite things to do. So I'm gonna prep my face with my Tatcha Liquid Silk. And in case you're new here, my name is Ara. I just started my channel almost a year ago, actually. I think it was the end of this month that I started. I wasn't keeping up with it too much last year. I definitely had too much on my plate, but this year, my goal, not so much a resolution, but my goal is to continue working on my channel and uploading videos that make me happy. I'm also gonna go in with my Natasha Denona Hygiene Serum. I actually love the radiance this gives me. It's so beautiful. I don't normally put it on my forehead, but eh, why not? I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury Color Corrector. This is in the shade One Fair. I always like to color correct before I go in with my foundation. I just feel like I get better coverage if I do this, which I can't complain. And for Valentine's, I love purple, mauve pink looks. I definitely will be doing quite a bit of those, but I want to branch out of my comfort zone for Valentine's Day and use more blues and greens. And orange, I actually really think orange looks for Valentine's Day would be very beautiful. And I do have small children. It is Saturday evening, so if you hear my son, I am very sorry. I try to apologize in every video. Not that it's necessary to apologize for my family, but I do I do try to edit out much of his, his noise. Now I'm gonna go in with one extra step. I'm gonna take my Natasha Denona. This is my R2. I'm gonna conceal over a little bit of this redness here. And this is my BK Beauty 109 brush. I love this brush. I only have two brushes from BK Beauty and I'm a big fan. I want to buy more of the face brushes the next time there's a sale. And I definitely need to buy at least one more of the 109 and the 101 brush, the foundation brush. I have a little bit of Aquaphor on my lips because my lips are so dry. I like to go to bed with Aquaphor on my lips and my under eyes. I feel like when I do that, I wake up with softer lips and my under eyes don't feel nearly as dry. Today I want to use my Chanel number no. one. This is my favorite foundation. I kind of go back and forth with it, but I have mine in the shade BR12. This thing makes me so happy, and I'm gonna use that with a Sigma F50, oh, nope, F58 brush. This has coconut oil in it. I don't recommend it if you're sensitive to coconut oil. And it has a very light fra fragrance. Ooh. It's not too overpowering. Not like the Guerlain, that one is overpowering. I have a difficult time wearing the Guerlain. I love this Sigma brush too. Oh my gosh, I have so many different foundation brushes that I like to use. This one is dense, but it has just enough give to it and flexibility. A very underrated brush. Actually, this one is my favorite Sigma foundation brush, so if you use Sigma, this is the one. I know there's a lot of hype around the foundation brush for Makeup Forever. I might have to try that one. I would love to know what you guys do for Valentine's Day. Every year for Valentine's Day, I will spoil the children with chocolates, candy, Valentine's cards. We don't really do anything big. I just like to do that for the kids. My mother-in-law just got me a little stand that I can use for my feet when I'm painting my toenails. Because I'm 39 years old and I finally learned how to do my nails which surprisingly, they look really good. I watched a whole bunch of t YouTube videos and tutorials on them because I got tired of not knowing how to do my nails. Just gonna build this up. I want a little bit more coverage. Do you guys do getaways for Valentine's Day? I feel like that would be fun for me and my husband to do, maybe next year. I just started my new contract with a new hospital I just did my first week of orientation. Tomorrow is my first day on night shift, but honestly, I prefer nights when I'm traveling. Not so much right now with the new baby. I really wanted a day shift position. They just 
are not available and the reason for that is just so many staff nurses want to work day shifts so they have so many openings for nights every Ooh, excuse me everywhere i'm gonna go ahead and use that same concealer from natasha denona and do my under eyes I had been doing this method with my eyes for so long and then when I finally saw a bunch of people doing it, I thought it was funny. I think this month I'm just gonna be going through my Chanel foundation collection just so that I can do a full overview on one of my videos of my Chanel foundations because I have, what do I have? Three, four, five different Chanel foundations I think it is off the top of my head. Oh, you know what else I wanna do? I wanna do a video of Valentine's Day palettes, or at least inspired, not not really Valentine's Day pi palettes, but pirates palettes. And then I definitely need to start doing videos for prom makeup because my daughter is a junior. <laughs> my daughter is a junior and she's going to prom. I'm gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury spray. I'm just gonna... I wanna use a little bit of my Kaleidos lip, lip mask. This is in the one Apple Glaze. I've got some Aquaphor on my lips, but... I need a little bit more. I'm gonna take my Fluoresis Peach Blossom Press Powder. This is really pretty. It reminds me of the Pat McGrath powder. I'm gonna use this to set my under eyes. I have used this quite a bit and the embossing is still there. It's really pretty. It's very brightening, so I do like that too. For the rest of my face, I'm gonna take my Kogan Doe Powder. This is the Sheer Moist Powder. I got this off of Beautylish forever ago. This is a really beautiful powder. It's not my favorite, but it's definitely gorgeous. I'm gonna take a Sephora number 80 brush. This is a really good brush, by the way. This powder makes my foundation not necessarily very matte, but it still gives it quite a bit of luminosity to it. And the Kogan Doe line, I don't see a whole lot of people ever review that. I know Michelle Wong does, she loves it. I think the Moisture Rich Foundation is her favorite, but it is really an underrated brand and it doesn't get the hype that it deserves. I'm gonna switch over to a cream bronzer. I know I can use this over my foundation. This is the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the shade number eight, Soft Amber. I just need to use what I have. I'm gonna pick that up on a Sydney Grace brush. This is a very good color for me right now. I finally made a hair appointment for March to get my hair recolored and styled. I won't be cutting any off of it. It's definitely very long hair. And I have worked hard to grow this hair out so there will be no chopping. Maybe one day I will muster up the courage to do a pixie cut. My cousin just did a pixie cut. It looks so good on her. I don't know, I have no courage to chop it all off. And the last time I did that, <laughs> I was so devastated and heartbroken that my long hair was gone. And when I say long hair, I mean long hair, it's down to my crack, like long hair. And I have worked for years to really make it as healthy as possible, even at this length. I watched Alicia Archer's video the other day about her hair care. I am buying a new bonnet. This is the M Cosmetics Corselet Sculpting Powder. I have mine in the shade Slip. I don't really think like the formula is super unique. It's, it's really not. It's just a powder bronzer. It's not like the hourglass that's baked. This is a F44 sculpting brush. I'm gonna pick that up on the side of it. Ooh, it picks up really easily. Tap some of that off. Whoa. <laughs> I forgot that this is actually really pigmented. Shame on me. I'm gonna have to buff that out. Am I the only one who doesn't like to go all the way around that C shape with my bronzer? Everybody does it. I don't, or at least people that I watch. I don't do that. Am I? The only one who doesn't do that. Like, I feel like because I'm so pale, if I start putting it all the way here and making a C, it looks off and out of place and I look really fake. So I don't do that. Am I the only one? I like having a brighter cheek area back here going towards my ear. And I know I have extra weight right now from 
having a new baby, but I feel like even with carrying extra weight, it, it just it doesn't really sculpt my face. And when I was smaller and my face was more defined, I didn't really feel like I needed that. I'm gonna switch to my nose contour real quick because if I don't, I will forget. I'm gonna take a Sigma Kristen Dominique nose contour brush. Take my Kaleidos contour. This one is my favorite, I use it all the time. It will take me forever to get through this. There's so much and I only ever use it for my nose. So last month I picked up the Chanel Les Beiges, Les Beiges? <laughs> Healthy Winter Glow Blush. This one is the shade Rose Polaire. I can't help myself. I love some of these new releases from Chanel. I know they're limited edition, but other than the embossing, this packaging is way more sturdy and luxurious than a lot of their other blushes. This is just so beautiful. I was drawn in like I always am, cannot help myself. I'm a sucker. This is the only new product I'm using that I haven't used before. I'm gonna pick this up on an It Cosmetics French Boutique brush. And hopefully I don't overdo it. I always overdo it with my blush. Mmm, really pretty. I think I need a different brush. I'm gonna pick up a Sonia G brush. This is the Designer Pro. This Sonia G brush is just a little more dense. There we go. It's just a subtle flush. I love that, that's beautiful. I have so many bold colors in my collection because I love blush, but it's so nice to just have a softer blush. Mmm, beautiful. I think this is the same formula as the fall one that I bought that has the leaves embossed on it. I can't remember the name of it though. I'm so bad at it and most of them are in French so it's not like I'm gonna be able to pronounce them. But the formula feels the same. I don't own any of the original blush shades and I know people weren't very fond of the reformulation but whatever they're doing with these is working. It's great. Let me just see if I can pick it up with that brush again. Maybe I just needed to like get that top layer off. Yeah, that's all I needed to do, I guess. Oh, that is so pretty, so pretty. Oh my gosh, I have got to stop buying Chanel blushes. They're gonna make me broke. Okay, I'm gonna go in now with an oldie but a goodie, one that I always love. It is the Becca Pearl Highlighter. This one has a really soft pinky pearl shift to it. And every time I use it, I always remember how much I love it. I remember when I first saw it back in Ulta forever ago. It's like way too overpriced. I finally caved and bought it and then I've had it ever since and I've used it and never regretted it, never looked back. I love using the old stuff that I have, the old limited edition stuff. I'm gonna take a little bit of my Hourglass Finishing Powder. I have mine in the shade Luminous Light. This one is one of my favorite finishing powders. It is just perfect. It's a luminous powder. If you need luminous powder, you cannot go wrong with Hourglass ever. Just kinda of buff these edges of my blush. And then I'm gonna use that same powder here. Normally I would take my loose powder and just kind of carve out my cheekbone a little bit, but it's extra steps I don't wanna do right now. I'm gonna go ahead and spritz my face one more time. For lips, I'm gonna use my Lisa Eldridge Velvet Bloom. Feels appropriate. Look at that, bullet is beautiful. I'm gonna line my lips with the Pat McGrath Vengeance Liner. Hopefully it matches. One of my weaknesses is lipstick. I am terrible at applying lip liner. I am terrible at applying lipstick. One of my goals years ago was to learn how to do it and every day I get a little bit better. I'm 
I think I did okay this time around. And I really think that the Vengeance lip liner is gonna work for this. Moment of truth. Ooh, and this is such a very pretty berry shade. Oh my goodness. I love Lisa Eldridge. Yep. Mm. Look at that. I love bold lip colors, even with the bold eye. I know it can be so dramatic, but I love it. Lisa's formula is divine. I wish, I wish I had every shade. My eyebrows are on for this. I've already primed my lids with the Kaleidos Tone Activator. I'm almost out of this. I'm so happy that I've been able to use all this up. I will be buying a new one. I like it. But I'm gonna take that original Kogan Dough Powder and I'm gonna set my eyes. I don't always set my eyes, but for this go around, I definitely want to. My creases in my eyes have not been cooperating a whole lot. For my eyebrows, as boring as they are, all I did was use my Urban Decay pencil and I ran my Benefit Brow Gel through them. I wanna just combine my Natasha Denona Retro and my I Need a Nude palette, which is probably her best palette ever. For this, I'm gonna be using the berry shades out of this palette here. I'm gonna start by taking the shade Groove with a Singe E03 brush. I am just gonna run this through my crease and kind of do a similar style of look like I did for my daughter's 17th birthday party or birthday dinner rather. Today was her party and it was wonderful. She is a very happy girl. I cannot believe how much she has grown. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna get all teary eyed thinking about it because still feels like just yesterday that I gave birth to her. I'm gonna stop about halfway through. I don't wanna bring it all the way to the bridge of my nose and I'm gonna kinda of wing it out this way anyway. I'm just gonna place it and then after I get everything where I want it, I'll go back and clean it up with some blending. I'm gonna take a Singe E05 brush. I'm gonna go into the shade Rebellion here. This is a cream to powder formula. Now to blend this all out, I'm gonna take my Refer number 15 brush. I'm gonna go into the shade Vivian. This is also another cream to, cream to matte. And I'm going to take this all along the outside here and just with gentle circular motions, start sweeping it outwards. Just kind of bring it all around. I would want to take that original singe brush though, and I wanna use that to buff right back where I started. I'm gonna go back with that EO5 brush from Singe and continue to buff out the edge here. Do I wanna go in with the mauve shade here? Or do I wanna go in with more of a taupe shade on my inner corner. I think I wanna do a taupe shade for my inner corner. I'm gonna switch over to the I Need a Nude palette. I'm gonna take the shade Mesh, this one here. I'm gonna pick that up on a clean Singe EO3 brush, and I am going to sweep that all into the inner brow bone air, air, <laughs> area very gently. I want to create a very nice gradient between the two shades. Honestly, I don't know what shimmer I wanna go into. I don't know if I wanna use glitz or psychedelic. This one's more of a topper, this one's more of a pink. I think I want to just go in with the shade Muse from the I Need a Nude palette. I'm gonna pick up the shade Muse on my brush. I am gonna spritz it, cause I don't have a tacky base and I don't want this going anywhere. I'm 
Okay, that is gonna work perfectly. I think I'm just gonna use my finger instead. Oh my God, this formula is breathtaking. I know I did this on Thursday night. Whoa, I love this shimmer. I can't help it. It's such a beautiful statement on my lid. I don't feel like I even need a topper. I'm definitely gonna put that pink topper over it. But whoa. I'm gonna take an even smaller brush. This is a Sonia G Soft Definer. I'm gonna go into this deep shade here, Silhouette. It's a very deep, rich, chocolatey brown shade. I'm gonna deepen up that outer corner there because it's not deep enough. I really want something a little bit deeper. I have had the Miley Cyrus song from the Grammys, Flowers, stuck in my head this entire week. Which by the way, I loved it. It was wonderful. Her performance was amazing. I'm gonna switch back into the retro palette. I'm gonna pick up the shade Glitz. I'm gonna press that on top of this shade here. It is such a beautiful pinky topper. I'm gonna place that on the center of my lid, right over the top of that other shimmer. There's no such thing as too much shimmer. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. I'm gonna start with a Refer 03. I am going to pick up that shade Rebellion. I'm gonna take a clean Singe 05 brush. I'm gonna pick up this cream shadow here, Andy, and I'm going to gently smoke it out here. I like to sweep it outwards this way. And now for the piece de resistance, I'm gonna take this very pretty white shade mod and put that all in my inner corner. This actually has a very pretty pinky undertone. This is a melt pencil brush, by the way. I'm just gonna take my powder puff and sweep it that way. It's literally that easy. I brought my right eye up to speed. I'm gonna use my Nabila Cutie Arrow. This is the number eight in the shade Ivory. I'm gonna use this to water, well, waterline, goodness. I cannot do this on camera for the life of me, but I'm gonna use my Lisa Eldridge. This is the black shade, black. <laughs> this is the black shade. And I have to look so close to my mirror or I'm gonna go blind. I'm gonna do a black from this Rabanne mini palette, back to black. This shade here without the shimmer. There's a shimmer shade and there's this one. This is a very creamy matte shadow. I don't actually know if it's full matte or if it's cream to matte, but it feels like a cream to matte. And this is what I use for my liner. I'm gonna use this one again. I'm gonna attempt to do this on camera. I'm gonna use a Sigma waterline. This is a number E17. I just pick that up on this brush and then stamp it all along my lash line here. And because I have very hooded eyes, I just do a very thin wing. And then if you mess up, you can always fix it. This is the look just with mascara. I use Bad Gal Bang. I have very tiny, sparse lashes. If I'm not using a lash serum, they are very tiny. So this is what it looks like before I put on my false lashes, which I will be doing. I'm going to take one teeny tiny little thing. This is the Fenty Beauty Diamond Balm in the shade Rose Rave. This is just for a little something something. I'm just gonna pick it up on my finger. You can't see much of anything on it, but I'm gonna take it and just stamp it all along my brow bone. Up into my brows. And it is just the most beautiful finishing touch. Now that that is a Valentine's Day look. I'm gonna use the Ardell 863 lashes. I just feel like having something long and 
vivacious. That is it for this look. I'm gonna finish it off with a little bit more of my powder here. I have a little bit of fallout. I wanna clean that up. You can kinda of see just a touch of fallout from the mascara and the black powder. No big deal. I love this Valentine's look. This turned out so much better than I imagined it. I feel so sparkly and glittery. I feel like this could be used for a prom look too. And I definitely love the bold lips with this look. I just, I can't get over it. I'm not doing anything with my hair. I'm not pulling it down. My hair is so long and it's way too late for me to even try to fix it. Doesn't matter, I think I look okay with an updo as it is. This turned out so pretty. You guys have to tell me if you wanna recreate this. That Fenty Diamond Balm, you can use that for just about anything. That is so much fun to use. I still use it on my cheeks. I just don't want a sparkly highlight right now. I love it just for a little on the eyes. I'm gonna have to do this again on my daughter, if she'll let me. That's it for this video. I hope you really enjoyed this one. I know I had a lot of fun. I know I had a lot of fun doing it. Ooh. I can't wait to make more videos for Valentine's Day this whole month. That Chanel blush though, I really want the coral shade. Don't buy it, don't buy it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everything I used on my face is gonna be linked down below. They are affiliate codes if you use them. Thank you so very much for supporting my channel. You guys don't know how much that means to me. Do something for yourselves today because you are so worth it.